Hey everyone, it's Brett of Booster Therapy. Welcome back to the channel and to a new month, October 2020. We have a new giveaway. This month, Booster Therapy is hooking you up with some wonderful swag. You get a beautiful knit beanie, a playmat with a beautiful stitch border, and a beautiful little bag of dice. That's right, Booster Therapy dice. And all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and at the end of the month, we're going to pick one lucky winner who has done all of those things. And again, every video is a chance to enter to win those wonderful prizes. So hopefully, we see you in the comments. We love to interact with everyone who's a part of the channel. And enjoy the video. Welcome back to Booster Therapy. Your cure for that pack, Kraken Addiction. We are going to see if we could find all of the Shocklands inside our double Shockland boxes. We've got Guilds of Ravnica to start us off and then we'll finish it up with Ravnica Allegiance. So welcome. Hopefully this will be an awesome shot at getting all the Shocklands. My personal best thus far has been nine. I have never hit all 10, but here's hoping for today. So let's get right into it. These boxes are sponsored by a very generous patron of the channel. This is for James, James K. Thank you, James, for hooking it up once again. Been uh, just a massive patron for us, so it's been absolutely outstanding. All right, we got a Justice Strike, a Minotaur, and we're going to start it out the right way. An Overgrown Tomb, Shockland number one. We've got the Lucky Chalice of the Void, Seb McKinnon artwork behind us here to bring us all of the Shocklands. And we got a bird token in the back. So, man, that's a nice start. All right, lots of, uh, lots of crumble packs out of Guilds and Ravnica Allegiance, if I recall correctly. And Knight of Autumn, it's a solid rare. Is it guild gate and an insect token? Well, I hope the uh, day is treating you well. I'm not sure exactly when this will be posting. Um, probably over the weekend or maybe early on a Monday or Tuesday. So happy day to you, regardless of where it falls. And we have the Swift Blade Vindicator, Double Strike, Vigilance, and Trample. All the things you could ever want. Maybe haste. Haste would be cool too. It's not too greedy. It's the regular amount of greed. Conclave Tribunal's a nice card. Sphinx into Find and Finality. Another insect token. Yeah, I love the guilds. I think they're super sweet. I think these will some point really start to go up over time just at a minimum all the shock lands that are in them and then the smothering tithe and other things that are in Ravnica Allegiance circuitous route into expansion explosion with an elf knight yeah I think these will these will do well over time if they're a little bit underappreciated still get them for between 90 and 100 bucks, I think, in a lot of different places. Plague Crafter, it's a good card. And the Citywide Bust. Brett's favorite artwork. Absolutely despises it. Just disgusted with it. Put our foils up top this time. Just his absolute least favorite artwork. It just makes me laugh every time I see that card. Alright, let's see if we can get another shock land here. Ooh, we get a Pelt Collector. That's a good one. Camera's angry. There we go. And another Bird Illusion. Take some of our bulk off to the side there. Yeah, just a nice casual video here. Going for the Shocklands. So, might as well join us on the journey. Thought Erasure. And our first mythic, we have the Dream Eater. Dream Eater. Just a creepy old sphinx with a righteous blow. One shock land so far. Uh, top mythic out of this set now, I think, is Divine Visitation. Always have to give Brett grief on that as well. I was going to scoop up 
a long time ago um, at about three to four dollars a piece and Brett told me it wasn't worth it so darn you Brett all right there's another mythic Ral is it Visroy with the affectionate Indrik knocks you right off the edge that's okay can't win them all that just means it gave me a little extra money to buy more boosty boxes there's the Indrik again. Sinister Sabotage is good. And a little counter spell, Ionize. With a foil rare, an unmoored ego. Very cool. Alright, Shocklands. Reveal yourself. Make yourself known. Crackling Drake. And Tajik Legion's Edge. Still think that's a pretty cool card. With an emblem. A RAL emblem. Yeah, there's some good Boros cards in here. Not bad, at least. Quasi duplicate. With a guild gate and a goblin. Alright, where are the shock lands? They disappear on us now. Still want to have a nice, nice run of shock lands here. There's another unmoored ego. Demir Guildgate. And a bird illusion. Nothing wrong with a little bird illusion. But wait, there's more! That's right. They knew it was coming. We have the connive. And concoct. And some more gates. Artrata, the silencer. I think we got a foil back there too. Yep. It's a big old dumpy 6 4 worm. With an elf knight in the back. Come on, Shocklands. See if we can hit the old steamer vents. I think we can. I think we're going to do it right now. Chemister's Insight. Oh, it's another mythic. It's one of my favorites. The Doom Whisperer. This card is still just very good. I think that card is extremely undervalued. I mean, it is a 6-6 six, six flying trample for five mana, no downside, and then you have the pay two life surveil two mechanic. Is uh, it's just very solid. Risk factor. It's another cool card out of the set I really like. The soldier token. We gotta find our shock lands. Oh, it's a land. The Guild Mages Forum. Not the one that we were looking for, but that's okay. We'll still find them. We will not be doing a one shock land box. Not for James. Not today. He expects better, so we're going to make sure we deliver. Another thought erasure. And the Runaway Steamkin. Just a good little card there. And that thing was powerful for a while with the mono red builds that were out there. Maximize velocity. And there we go. There's another one. Temple Garden. Shockland number two. We'll take them. We'll take them one at a time. We're not greedy. As long as we get there. As long as we get there in the end. That's all we want. Wish coin crab and light of the legion. Uh, let's get a divine visitation and then another shock land. Hmm. Oh, nice! It is another shock land. The watery grave. Well done. Up to three. All right. Pretty good so far. Three mythics, three shock fans. 
lava coil. Mission briefing. And we have a gateway plaza foil. That's nice. Looks beautiful. All right, let's see if we can find another shock land. See if we can find that steam vents. Creeping chill. It's just kind of a cool card. Gotta include that. And the Thief of Sanity. That might be a top card out of this set that I really enjoy. Just thought that was an interesting mechanic. Being able to steal from your opponent like that. Murmuring Mystic. And the Deafening Clarion. Nasty little board wipe. That was used a lot, and I won't lie to you, I used it myself. Actually used it in a Angels deck that I had at one point. And the Midnight Reaper. Another rock solid card out of guilds. There's another card that saw a ton of play, and justifiably so, it's just a really good card. The Creeping Chill. And the Chamber Sentry. We can get a Chromatic Lantern as well. See if we can get lucky. Just a rare. No reason not to. Ooh, oh, lucky, that's a good yeah, one. A this one I think yeah, meatball. Will in price over time as well. That's a nice hit. Assassin's Trophy. And a Beam Splitter Mage foil. Beautiful looking. Yeah, Assassin's Trophy, that's sitting, I know it's just a rare, but that is sitting way too low right now. Especially if they don't reprint it. It's just an incredibly powerful card. With not a terrible downside. Ritual of Soot. Another solid board wipe out of this set. Come on, Shocklands, I want that Steam Vents. Give it to me, give it to James. Big spider, hatchery spider. They're hitting us with the with the guild gates. We also do for another mythic here. So let's see the divine visitation. We'll take that right now. Nice chromatic lantern. Just a nice solid head. Demir guild gate. Clear out a little room here. Getting down to the bottom of the barrel here. Not too much left. And then we'll head on over to Ravnica Allegiance. And there's some really nice hits you can get out of that. Nice! Vraska Golgari Queen. Beautiful card. Love how the art just pops off of this. Looks really solid. Well, it's Mythic number four. Still looking for that Divine Visitation, and maybe if we can sneak in another couple of Shocklands right in the close. Oh, it is another Mythic. So you got a Circuitous Root here, and into the Tristani Discordant, which is a fun card in Commander if, with that bottom part of the text that people seem to neglect. The beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all creatures they own. With a foil, Goblin Electromancer. But yeah, that little... Uh, Oh, that's kind of cool. Emblem there. But yeah, that little uh, text at the bottom is uh, its kind of sneaky. People neglect to realize that. It does come up from time to time. A Plague Crafter and a Drowned Secrets. Another solid card. Alright, just two packs left. Two more packs for Shocklands. Or maybe another... Mythic, maybe a divine visitation for the road. No, oh, it's a gruesome menagerie. Perfect for Halloween season. All right, final pack of the Guilds of Ravnica box. So make sure to give James a thanks for sponsoring this one here today and our next box. So don't go anywhere. Actually, that's kind of a cool card too. And a Zoni Thousand Eyed. A little bit off focus there. There we go. All right, so we're going to start it off with three Shocklands. So we got a little work to do here. Uh, do a little bit of cleanup, and we'll be right back. 
And poof, just like that, we're back. We've got Ravnica Allegiance. James, we hope you do well here. There's a number of very good mythics. Of course, the Shocklands and a bunch of extremely solid rares out of this set. So I'm hoping we can hit them all. And uh, best of luck to you. So let's jump right into it. We'll also be looking for the uh, persistent petitioners and we'll be looking to focus the camera. There it goes. I'll have to keep an eye out for a number of things out of this set. Nikya of the Old Ways. One of my favorite commander decks that Brett's done. This is Nikya deck. It's very fun to play. Fortunately, the commander does get targeted pretty early as its uh, ability is very, very strong. And the Tithe Taker. But we're looking for the Smothering Tithe. That's what we want to see. Smothering Tithe and a bunch of shock lands. That's all we want. No greed. Uh, let's make sure to peek. Peek for the petitioners, they say. There it is. Mama Man, mia, this one's way up there. That is meatball. a spicy meatball. I think this thing is getting close to 20 bucks now. Just crazy. That is absolutely what you want to see. Well done. Let's check. Do there. It's annoying you have to check all the commons now. Shark dough. And our first mythic is going to be a fun one. Not very expensive, but it is very fun. Emergency powers. For mythic number one. And we got to get our, our shock land count going as well. A little peaky there. Oh, see, it could have hit it there. Could have hit it away. Light up the stage. Put you over here. Sphinx. And a Sphinx again. Sphinx of Foresight. With a beautiful looking foil rare. The End Rays Forerunners. The Frog Lizard in the background. Alright, let's get our first shock land. If we can. Let's see if we can find that breeding pool. There's a petitioner. Worth a buck or two. Beautiful Seb McKinnon bankrupt in blood. Really cool there. All right, and we're going to get a Simic Ascendancy. Ooh, a foil grotesque demise. Put our foils right up top. Come on, James. We got a smothering tide, so that was actually a very nice start. But we want to start seeing our shock lands. Anything hidden away in there? Good old growth spiral. And Taysa Karloff. Card improved a little bit after the commander um, rule change that I think was long overdue. Getting death triggers off of your commander instead of that replacement effect. Got a quench, noxious nothing. Scare the critics is cool. Mortify. And glass of the guild pact. With the spirit. Come on, we're Shockland number one. We must find them. Oh, there's a petitioner right away. Always a free couple of bucks. Let's see if they hit anything else good in here. Amplifier. Four mana for a 1 1 makes it a little tough. That's just a lot of mana for a ton of vulnerability and. No immediate payoff in today's age. Eh, why not? Another growth spiral. Cry the Carnarium. Into Bedeck and Bedazzle. Still looking for that first shock land. Will we find it here? Got a Savant. Take a duplicate smothering tithe, that'd be cool. Gutter Bones. That's a good card. Always accept the Gutter Bones. It's probably still worth a couple of bucks. Might be wrong on that, a few bucks. I've not 
Christ checked that card for a while. Ill gotten inheritance. And it's our second mythic, the Angel of Grace. With a stony strength. And an ooze token. That still might be one of my favorite cards out of this set. It's the Biogenic Ooze. Not because it's super effective, it's just... I mean, it is a good card. If it's not dealt with, that thing will get out of control quickly. It's just a fun card, though. Drill Bit. Into Repudiate and Replicate. Another one of the split cards. Split cards are always cool. I think they kind of underpowered them. I think they were maybe thinking they were going to be too powerful if they went crazy, but I think they definitely went a little under on those. Mass Manipulation. Man, this was played a lot at one point. That card was played like absolute crazy for a while. That combined with Nyssa was a mean combo. Frilled Mystic, a bunch of counter spells, and the Gruel Spellbreaker. Good old Gruel Spellbreaker. Another card I played quite a bit of at one point. Nice! Oh, There's our first shock a and it's a meatball. very good one. It is going to be a beautiful breeding pool. Let's make a little room for that. With an Orzov locket foil. Alright, well, if we're going to be light on, on the uh, Shocklands, let's make sure to hit the best one. Breeding pool still way up there. It's still around 20 bucks, I want to say, in price. I don't think that's come down much. Ooh, a sneaky petitioner. All right, you always got to look out for him. And the cinder vines. With the spirit. Remember this card I was playing against in a draft. When we, you know, when we used to draft and do things in person. That was a super annoying card. And the Rick's Mati Reveler. The Thopter token. Alright, let's find more of these Shocklands. It's only two Mythics so far. I want to see the Hydroid Krasis would be nice. And go on a run of Shocklands. Wilderness Wreck. Here's a good card. And Judith the Scourge Diva. That's another card I liked out of the set. A little bit more satisfying against the board wipe decks just to have a, a little bit more resiliency with the death triggers nice there we go another shock land hallowed fountain beautiful beauteous all right we got another shock land now let's get a crisis that collapse rhythm of the wild they're good uncommon Wall of Lost Thoughts, and Rampage of the Clans. Blow a bunch of stuff up. Get rid of it. And if it's any of your stuff, you get a little bit back. Same with your opponent's stuff. Dumps out some 3-3s. Three threes. Mm -hmm. Nice, another shock land, the Stomping Ground. We're going on a little run here. So we're up to three for this box. We had three for the other, so six all day. If we can go five for five on even one box, that would be outstanding. With a duplicate on the Smothering Tithe, why not? All right, we got the Captive Audience. One of the meanest cards you can play in Commander. You can get that out there. It's expensive, but it's worth it just to troll your opponents with a good old captive audience. And Verity Circle. Getting down there. Still got a number of packs left, but we're getting on the lower side, so let's see if we can get another solid mythic and a pile of shocklands. 
Charmander, the Benthic Biomancer, and the Spirit Token. Come on, James. It's another late night filming, so we're a, a low energy jab right now. We've got Kaya's Wrath and the Savage Smash. Not a lot of foils. Again, I think I'm just accustomed to uh, the Core 2020 and Beyond era where you just get a significantly higher amount of foils. It's way up there. Oh, there's another Mythic. Dovin Grand Arbiter. Oh, and a foil rare. You got the Bedeck and Bedazzle. Just a fancy card. Bedecking and Bedazzling. I don't know if I'd call it a crumble pack. More of a tearaway pack. Any hidden petitioners? Hmm? And the Guardian Project. Another solid hit. And this really does have some nice hits. In the rare slot. I mean, Smothering Ties is pretty massive. In 20 bucks for a regular rare. Light up the stage. Tower Defense into Zagana Utopian Speaker. And we're getting low. We're getting down there. Still looking to see if we can pick up a couple more Shocklands. Ooh, Deputy Detention. And beautiful Bankrupt and Blood Foil. Sebi would be so proud. Look at that. A little good luck for his artwork in the background. Another Bankrupt in Blood. I'll give you the one. Theater of Horrors. Yeah, you can hear it. You can hear that we're getting toward the bottom. You can hear the, the squeaking and squealing of the packs. Oligarch. And we have Tome of the Guild Pact. Come on. Finish us strong here. Don't get cheap on me. Ooh, the Growth Chamber Guardian. Syndicate Messenger. A oh, couple left. Couple left here in the close. Oh, that's a crumble pack. That might be the, the definition of a crumble pack. Just fell apart on us. So we definitely have a hydroid crisis in this one. The way that thing fell apart. Oh, it's a mythic though. It's a Rakdos the Showstopper. Not worth much, but I really enjoyed that card. It's just right up my alley. A little bit of the gamble there for you. So not significant value, I don't think you got out of the Mythic slot there, unfortunately, but you've hit the rares pretty well. Another Petitioner. See if we can have a strong finish here. We got Revival and Revenge, another card I definitely use in Commander. And your last pack, good luck to you, James. Come on, give him another Shockland. I mean, three and three is not bad, to be honest with you, but always wanting a little bit more. And we're going to get another Repudiate and Replicate in the close. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, nice little run of Shocklands there. Not too bad. And six out of ten is not terrible. Five Mythics in this one. You hit, I think, basically all the super solid rares. So pretty decent box. We'll see what the totals are in the bottom left. Uh, if you are still sticking around, we thank you for that. Make sure you do a like and subscribe on the way out if you haven't already. Otherwise, we're going to call it a day. This has been Patrick with Booster Therapy. So long.